Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Nate here, back at you with another review video. And today we are actually going to be taking a look at a gaming PC case. And I wanted to get this video out earlier, but I really didn't have a PC that I could put in this case. Now I do. I've put it in there and I've been able to use the case for a little bit and I want to give you my thoughts. This is the Adconcore T250X. It has a glass front and side panel and it has four pre-installed fans. Now this PC case has actually been discontinued by Adconcore. However, they have a wide range of very similar PC cases that you can find. So. I don't think there's really going to be that big of a difference between this case and the other ones, so I still want to make this video to kind of educate you guys in case you were looking to buy an Abconcore case. It is a mid-tower case, it can fit up to an ATX motherboard, it has a metal, plastic, and glass build, and even with those fairly high quality materials, it still ends up feeling kind of flimsy and light when you pick it up but it is fairly sturdy, so that part is good. I'm not a fan of the grills on either side of the glass front panel, but hey, some people might like this. Personally, for me, it's not a big selling point. As I said before, it comes with four pre-installed fans. They don't come with a hub, however, and they can connect to your motherboard through a connector. However, I don't think this is a universal connector because my motherboard, it won't work on, so I ended up not using the fans and having to take them out and putting in a different fan that doesn't need to connect to the motherboard for power. I kind of wished that Atkincore didn't make the fans have a connector that has to be plugged in to the motherboard because there's a lot of great fans out there that don't and it really limits you because you can only buy certain brands that will work with the fans. This is where things start to kind of go downhill for this case. There's plenty of room on the inside and it's easy to take the front panel off. There's also plenty of cable management in the back. That's not really what bothers me with this case. I don't really like the fact that you have to buy a certain motherboard for the fans to work because they just, they will not work unless you connect them to the motherboard. That's where they get the power from, which you know is kind of silly so that right there really limits you with this case also the fans are not rgb and i really feel like in their listing they didn't advertise that well enough they are fixed spectrum so all you get is this one array of colors you can't change it there's no settings whatsoever fixed speed fixed color fixed everything that's the main reason why I decided to take out the old fans other than the fact that they don't work with my motherboard because, you know, it's kind of old. Now, the whole case looks really good with the different fans that I installed. However, somebody who doesn't have that great of knowledge of PCs is probably just going to buy this thinking it will work and, you know what, it might not. And these issues are not just for this particular Abkincore case. As I said before, they make a lot of other cases that are very similar to this. And even though this one is discontinued, this pattern of issues kind of goes deeper than just this product. I'm not saying Abkincore as a brand is bad because they've sent me other things in the past that I've really liked. However, this case, and I think generally their cases in general, I honestly can't recommend because you just don't know what you're gonna get. The fans might work with your motherboard or they might not. They might be RGB or they might not. And so because of these things, even though the case itself, you know, is pretty good, I, I actually really, really like this case, the fact that the fans don't work with all motherboards and they were not advertised as fixed spectrum as well as they should have been, really makes this a product that I cannot recommend. Another thing that really puts a nail in the coffin is that this case was around $100 when it was on Amazon and all of Abconcore cases vary generally from $80 to $100 which you know is a lot of money for a PC case. You know, it's probably mid-range when it comes to PC cases but if you're going to have these types of problems you might as well just go with an NZXT case that you know is not going to have any issues. So that's it for this video everybody. 
I know I usually like to make reviews where I, you know, really like the product, but I felt like I should get this out there so you guys know in case you see products by Apcomcore, just to be very observant of what compatibility they have as well as if they're RGB or not. And definitely keep your eyes out because you don't want to fall in the same trap I did and have to, you know, put in a bunch of new fans because the included ones don't work. Abconcore did send this out for my honest review, but obviously they did not tell me to say this. And uh, that's it for the review, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. If you did like this video and you want to see more cool content, which I do have coming up very soon, then please stay tuned and you know what? I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.